Apparently, all the early adopters have bought their EVs, and you still aren't ready to take that plunge yet. Maybe this is more your speed. I'm Chris from Auto Academics, and today we're going to take a look at this totally redesigned 2023 Lincoln Corsair Grand Touring PHEV with all-wheel drive. Don't worry, I wasn't ready yet either, but this isn't about me anyway. <laughs> I'll share more on that later, so let's get started. Built in Louisville, Kentucky and representing the top of three trims is this crystal red metallic 2023 Lincoln Corsair Grand Touring plug-in hybrid electric vehicle with all-wheel drive. Standard features include jeweled LED headlamps, configurable LED daytime running lights and LED tail lamps, dual exhaust system, heated power folding exterior mirrors, charge port door, easy fuel capless fuel filler, hands-free lift gate, adaptive suspension, privacy glass, roof rack side rails, secure code access, illuminated scuff plates, and remote start system. Inside, you'll find a sandstone interior that consists of a leather wrapped steering wheel with cruise, audio, climate, and media controls, second row 60-40 fold flat split bench with recline, second row sliding seat, cargo management system, dual zone climate control, frameless auto dimming rear view mirror, power tilt and telescoping steering column, memory for steering wheel, seats and exterior mirrors, 12.3 inch color cluster display, cabin particulate and odor filter, panoramic vista roof with power shade, rear view camera, ambient lighting, symphonic chimes, Lincoln drive modes, 360 degree camera, Paul Dow wood applique, front and rear USB charge ports, Lincoln Connect 4G modem with Wi Fi capability, phone as key, Lincoln personal assistant, How can I help you? Sync 4 with 13.2 inch touchscreen, wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, over the air updates, and intelligent access with push button start. Safety features consist of dual stage front airbags, driver's knee airbag, front and rear seat mounted side impact airbags, and safety canopy airbags, tire pressure monitoring system, auto high beams, auto hold, blind spot information system, intelligent adaptive cruise control, lane keeping system, rear parking sensors, pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking and evasive steering assist, lane centering with hands-free in-lane repositioning, lane change assist, predictive speed assist, rear seat reminder, reverse brake assist, and rear cross traffic alert. This car is also configured with the Collection 3 package for $8,675 that has rain sensing wipers with windshield wiper de-icer, heated and ventilated front seats, heated rear seats, heated steering wheel, wireless charging pad, 14 speaker Revel audio system, head up display, Lincoln Copilot 360 2.1 drive and Active Glide 1.2 whose features were named earlier, Active Park Assist 2.0, and front parking aid. Options include the 20 inch bright machined aluminum and black wheels with continental cross contact tires for $1,150, 24 way perfect position driver and front passenger seats with active motion massage for $1,285, and the crystal red metallic paint for $750, give you a total MSRP of $67,180. The family resemblance of this Corsair is unmistakable with its larger new grille and wing-shaped daytime running lights. The optional wheels are 20 inches with 19-inch examples of standard equipment, all of which hints at Lincoln's new exterior design language. Lincoln's hoping to attract more youthful buyers too. What do you think? Open the cargo bay and you'll find 26.9 cubic feet behind the rear seats. 
fold those down via the press of some buttons, you get 56.2 cubic feet in all. There's a 12 volt outlet, a small cubby on the side, and a 17 inch mini steel spare and jack beneath the floor. The powertrain is a 2.5 liter Atkinson inline four cylinder plug-in hybrid engine that makes 266 horsepower and 275 pound-feet of torque. A continuously variable transmission sends power to all four wheels. Four drive modes can be selected via a dial and this plug-in hybrid includes two additional modes so you can drive in electric only mode or save the battery for a later time. The included charger can accept level 1 120 volts or level 2 240 volt with the former taking 10 to 11 hours for a full charge. Level 2 reduces that to within 3 to 4 hours. EPA estimated fuel economy is rated at 78 mpge or 33 gas miles per gallon combined and a total EV only range of about 29 miles. Total combined range is approximately 430 miles. Auto Academics saw an average of 73.4 mpge during testing on regular fuel. Sitting behind myself or honestly anyone else, it's pretty simple because the step in height is low and leg and headroom are generous. Need a bit more? Then slide your seat back and recline if you like. Lincoln's attention to detail has been noted. The outboard seats are heated and the center hump is minimal in case you want to add a middle passenger. Also, there are AC vents, cup holders in the armrest and doors, and four USB-C charge ports too. Even though this Corsair is the smallest crossover from the brand, it still feels very airy in the cabin. The steering wheel feels great thanks to the soft leather and padding underneath, and like other Lincolns we've reviewed, the push to talk button is easily accessible on the steering wheel. Also, like other Lincolns, it's way too easy to hit that button while you're driving. How can I help you? The leather seats are soft and they can be adjusted in seemingly a hundred ways. That can be daunting the first time around, but once you get it set up, you'll again appreciate the detail. Revel did a good job with the audio in here and the auto air refresh helps keep the air in the cabin clean. The screens are large and the infotainment is powered by SYNC 4 a system I've liked for many years now, and there's even this cool Lincoln logo effect that shows on the center console at night. So, now that we've addressed all of that, it's time to take it out and see how it drives. Like the larger Lincolns we've reviewed lately, this Corsair plug-in hybrid feels very solid. And because it's a plug-in hybrid, as you might expect, it's very quiet too. Well, with the exception of some noise from the tires on imperfect roads. Isolation in that area technically could be better. The throttle is responsive, hindered only by engine startup if you're in full EV mode, and power is good. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to say that when I first started driving this car, I thought it had a traditional automatic transmission because the shifts were that good. It doesn't. It actually has a CVT, and that's a testament to the improvements that have been made to this type of transmission. The simulated gear shifts are that good, and the hybrid system masks any potential droning. And speaking of which, transitions from engine to battery to engine again are relatively seamless. The brakes are firm, yet still comfortable, and they stop pretty well too. Put it in Excite mode, and the adaptive suspension does well on my windy back roads. But put it in Normal again, and the few bumps you felt become less intrusive. And even with all that, this Corsair never feels too soft nor too firm in the different modes. It's a good mix, and I like it. Plus, even at almost 4,500 pounds in this hybrid form, it's still fairly maneuverable too. 
the heads-up display is very informative as well. While most will show you speed signs and the occasional nav direction, this adds in total range, a clock, and the outside temperature. There's truly no reason to look down. Lincoln's been sending me a number of plug-in hybrids lately, and whether it was as large as the Aviator or as small as this Corsair, they've all been nice. So there you have it guys, the totally redesigned 2023 Lincoln Corsair Grand Touring PHEV with all-wheel drive. There have been quite a few reports lately about EV sales on the decline. So for those of you still not ready to go full electric, know that Lincoln is making some pretty good plug-in hybrids to bridge that gap. So where are you? Full EV, plug-in hybrid, or are you still repping only gas? Let us know in the comments section below. As always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you don't miss what we have coming up next. Plus, it really helps out the channel and doesn't cost anything. I'm Chris from Auto Academics. Thanks for watching. The outboard seats are heated and the center hump is minimal in case you want to add a middle person. person, passenger, they're all the same.